Hello, Mr. Atrophy here. Truck vlogging again. It's been a little bit. Um, honestly, still a little shaken up after the other night. You guys have seen the video. If you haven't, it's the one prior to this of uh, me, me and the girlfriend were, were up about 1 o'clock and she said, well, I smell plastic burning. And I go, yeah, you know, I, I kind of do too. She had, Her nose is much better than mine. I've been punched in the face a couple times and so my nose doesn't exactly work correct. Um, and I peek out the back window and I see flames pouring out of the passenger window of the truck. Call 911 move all the cars, alert the neighbors, you know, blah, blah, blah. Well, but what we find out afterwards is that the, the gas tank on the truck was full. And what that means, it wouldn't have exploded. But what might have happened was the tank could have ruptured and the gas would have spilled. It would have spread to the adjacent vehicles and the line of shrubs that go up to the house and if the shrubs were to catch on fire the house would have caught on fire and we're in an end unit so if, if we would have caught on fire the adjacent families would have been in danger going down the line um, so I mean when, when you sit back and think about that that if we would have been asleep you know, I might not be here making this video. But we were awake, the truck's destroyed, but there's, um, nobody was hurt, which is the important thing, which is the lesson <coughs> I learned in, um, 1990 in September, a uh, day before my freshman year of high school when, uh, F5 tornado hit my hometown of Plainfield. Um, killed 27 people a couple of them I knew and destroyed a lot of landmarks in my childhood destroyed the grade school I went to um, the church my parents were married in the church I was baptized in um, killed uh, somebody very special to me a teacher that changed my life and I get a little emotional just thinking about it um, that's a whole other thing. The, the, the point I'm trying to get to is uh, nobody was hurt. And this could have went completely the other way. The truck could have caught the houses on fire. And multiple families could at least be displaced or killed. Um, but the only dead, the truck is totaled. Um, <clears throat> but that can be replaced. You know, my grandparents' house was destroyed in a tornado. <coughs> they got a new one. Grade school, they got knocked down. They got a new one. Church, brand new. New high school, that was also torn down. All of my friends' houses that were knocked down uh, were fixed. Or they got new ones. So, stuff can be replaced. <coughs> but it still weirds me out a little bit that... That, uh... That could have went the other way. And it's, it just gets me. You know, we've... Had some hard times recently. But standing around with all of the neighbors at like 2.30 in the morning. With all of them th thanking us for uh, catching the fire. And basically saving everybody. Um, you know, that, that meant a lot. And it gets you thinking. So, uh, makes me appreciate everything a little more. Rambling a little bit pointlessly, but, you know, maybe that, that's what I, I, I'll do that sometimes. So, There's a, uh, a cop just passed me. I actually don't know if vlogging while driving is illegal. This is not hands-free. 
but it's not a cell phone. And if I remember right, the laws specifically state cell phone. I don't know if it says anything about electronic device. I guess we'll find out if I get pulled over. Um, so I'm going to put this away because I actually think he turned around. Um, I will see you guys later. Hopefully. Um, if I don't, you know, I might need some bail money, so put together a collection. Bye.